So Arsene called me, they said, I'm going to Arsenal, do you want to come? Yeah, I follow you. <laughs> I go with you. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm following you. Um, I've, got, I've got your man, your guy. Yeah, here. That's why I put my hand in my pocket. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to hand the shirt, so that's why I put my hand in the pocket. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs>Patrick. Nice to see you. Good to see you. How are you? I'm good. Thanks what for about you? Us. Um, all good, thank you. Um, so this is what I wore. So basically, it's a show where we basically have a collection of shirts to tell your life story. Whoa. So before we start, in honour of you, I had to bring this out. <laughs> I had to bring this out. I want to slap it on the chest just the way you did. That will help you to breathe much yeah, better, yes. I'm feeling good. Looking good? <laughs> You're looking good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I want to know, I want to know, before we start, why did you do that? Why, why was the Vicks on the chest a thing for you? Because you made it iconic. I don't know if it's iconic or not, no, but it is, you know, like me. on the field, sometimes, you know, you're getting really tired and that helps you to breathe much better. So that is what, that was my uh, small things to help me to, to recover, I will say a little <laughs> bit more quicker, but I don't know if it worked, but it was good to yeah. wear it too. Great, great, great start. So we're going to talk about obviously Born in Senegal when you see this shirt here. Yeah. Just talk to me, when you see this shirt, what was that upbringing and how did you first fall in love with football? What memories spring out to mind when you see the shirt in childhood? When I seen the shirt, of course, is uh, growing up in, uh, in Dakar, where this is the place where I kicked the ball for the first time, playing down the street and uh, having a good time with friends from next door. And, um, and this is the place where my mom born, my grandparents born. So that is a country that means a lot to me. Yeah. When you see this shirt, like, what's your memories of your early playing career? And when you put this shirt on for the first time as a professional, watching all of these shirts and like, thinking like, oh, I can be a footballer one day, you put one on and you actually are. What was that, what was that this feeling? This is when I believe that I make one step to the professional level. Okay. I moved to Cannes and uh, Cannes was promoted from uh, League 2 to League 1. And, uh, and the manager of, of, of uh, Cannes, was Luis Fernandez, who was one of, one of my idols. He was part of the Carré Magique. So uh, going to Cannes and uh, playing my uh, professional uh, level at Lice Cannes was, uh, was a dream come true because I wanted to play in Ligue 1. I wanted to be a professional. So the club gave me that opportunity and, uh, and I still really related to that city. Right. So then obviously you made the big move to, as you're saying, to Syria in these shirts here. I remember those shorts really well. AC Milan now. I remember now, those shorts really well. You spoke about the importance of Platini bringing like, the French flair to Italy. When you finally get the opportunity to move to such a giant club and that obviously iconic um, black and red stripes, like, what was that feeling like when you first put that shirt on? Do you feel the weight of that You of that feel the weight, but you away? feel the weight when, uh, when I enter the dressing room. You know, because we were talking about AC Milan, we were talking about Costa Curta, Baresi, Maldini, you're talking about Georges Weah, Marcel Dessay was there as a French player as well. So that was the, the team and the players that I was watching on TV, you know. So you're watching and you're dreaming that one day you will be, one you will shirts, be yeah. one of wearing one of those shirts. So I remember the first day when I get there and I open the dressing room and I see all those players over there, I was like, wow. So now you make the, the move to the Premier League this shirt here, 96, right? If I give you this shirt here, yeah. um, I'll take this jacket out as well. Before we get into the <laughs> shirt, you like this? Before we get into the shirt, though, I want to talk about, you, you, you've played in Europe at this point, you come to England for the first time, come, move to London. What is the cultural shift before you even wear the shirt? Like, what is shocking to you? What, what are you like, learning? To be honest, when, when I came to England, I really didn't know what to expect. I really didn't know what to expect because the French culture is quite a bit closer to, to the Italian one. So to adapt myself was quite really easy. So coming to England, I didn't know what to expect. Uh, Culture-wise, never been to London before, um, never had any kind of English friends, I will say. It. Um, but it was like curiosity at the same time. And um, coming to Arsenal, I, I find myself, I will say it. Meaning like, Straight away when you put the shirt on the first time, you straight, felt it? Straight away. You straight just knew away. It was, the first this is what day, I need to be here. The first day in training, the first time I wear the shirt, the first time that I played at Highbury, I knew that was the place that allowed me to express myself and to maximise my potential as a player. 
Well, and if it was, was it because of the man that wore this, like Venga? Is it because of him, like, coming in? Because obviously at the time... He was, he was the reason why okay, yeah. I came to Arsenal. So Arsene called me, they said, I'm going to Arsenal, do you want to come? Yeah, I, I follow you. <laughs> I go with you. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm following you. And, uh, and the rest is, uh, is history, really. So now, you come in, the next year you win, you win the double. You win yeah. this shirt, this is the away shirt from that year. And obviously you, be, you beat these guys um, in the final. In the final yeah. What yes. was that like? First, you know, big trophies, wearing these shirts, representing this badge, like? This is, this is one of my all time favorite shirts. This one, yeah? This one, yes, because this is where everything started, you know? And, oh, nice. uh, and of course, 98, making the double, uh, winning the league, and then going to win the FA Cup. This is when I realized how big football was in this country. Okay. This is when I realized that there is something really special in this country because of the more celebration. Than like, more than when he was in Italy Yeah, in more, because when I was in France, when I was in Italy, I was quite still really young. I didn't really know what is the professional, professional level. And, and being in England for this first trophy and where I express myself, I play with, with passion, you know, all these kind of red cards and all these <laughs> kind of fouls and all this stuff. That is part of who I was as a player, you know? So I remember like it was yesterday. That was the, 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 um, the final against, uh, against the Newcastle of, of Alan Shearer, you know? So um, the celebration, the, the passion from the fans and, and what that means to, to the players um, around by winning, winning the double, it was, it was a, a really good year. For sure. Now, obviously, when you come in and you win the double, it's a, you're, you're doing that against another big team, I'd say. These guys, yeah? So I need to pull out these shirts. Obviously, this was the massive rivalry when you pull out these two. Um, I've, got, I've got your man, your guy yeah, That's why I put my hand in my pocket. <laughs> I don't want to hand the <laughs> shirt. So that's why I put my hand in the pocket, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but what was it like, this, this rivalry in particular, these guys going to battle against it? When you see this shirt, because I, I interviewed Paul Scholes, and as soon as he picked up the Arsenal shirt, he was like, I want to get my boots on. Where's Vieira? Bring him now. So like, when you see this shirt, what is it that springs to mind? They were the best team. They were the team to beat. So if you wanted to win the league, you have to be above United. So that was passion. That was competitiveness. And I don't want to use the word hate, no, but it was uh, love and hate. Because what's, what's key, when I think of Arsenal-United rivalry, it epitomizes between you and King. Right, so I need to ask you, out of all these shirts that you see here, what was your favourite shirt in, when you had a fight with Keane? Is it this one, the grappling? Is it this one in the tunnel? Like, what was your fondest memory? When you think <laughs> I, I'm beefing I will, Keane, I will, which one is it? Which you shirt do you come I will, to mind? I will choose this one, because okay. what I mean about this one is that from the first game, I knew straight away that it will be, uh, it will be a fight in every single game. So, um, I love the way he was on the field, you know? Yeah, like so a respect there. He was, he was, he has a massive respect and, uh, and he was a leader. He was a captain of the team. He was the one who, who, who was driving the team and the players to, to compete at the level. He was challenging the players and, and I admire him as a, as a captain. And, and I knew that, of course, that will be one of the battles to to try to win yeah. when you are so on the field. Did you know if, if, I, if I overcome him, we'd probably win the game? Yeah, and it happened really often. Yeah, so you, 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 are you better than him? Much better than him, <laughs> yes. I, like I would say much better than him, <laughs> yes. I like that. <laughs> All right, so we're going to talk about some massive achievements. Obviously, you did the double again, but when we think of you in an Arsenal shirt, it's this shirt I'm wearing here, yeah. the Invincibles. Yeah. Talk to me about, let's start that whole year. Like, when you put this shirt on for the first time, did you know there was something special? We're gonna do something special here in this shirt. No, not not at all. I, I would Are you be, sure? I'm one hundred percent sure. To be honest, the only one who was believing that we could go through the season and beating was Arsene. But he never mentioned anything to us. For us, we go through the season and we wanted to compete our best to win the league. We knew that we were good enough to win the league. 
but we never thought about going through the season and beating. And of course, you're building that kind of belief. You know, you in play well in each game. The confidence, the belief. Uh, you managed to win the title, and these couple of games left, and we said, okay, we may going to do something special here. And then, of course, he take, you know, like a togetherness. That was a really strong generation of players that we were leading well together. Yeah, you know? so when you talk about those players, obviously I got Henri here, Burkamp, your guy Petit. Like, there's so many, <laughs> there's so many players that added to that. Yeah, that, you know, but that I think era of Arsenal. Manu, like, was it Manu Petit was part of, the, of I, those I, players yeah. who built and allowed us to go through the season and beating. You understand what I mean? Because he yeah, was yeah. part of the foundation. first foundation, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So of course, all those players who wear the Arsenal shirt, who help us to believe more in ourselves and play next to Petit at Arsenal, allowed me to be a better player. But then you got mass, but, yeah. I would say, in the Invincible season. Yeah, got and, two, and two, you're talking about yeah. Burkamp and, uh, and Thierry Henry, and of course you have to mention those players because Different class. you will not gonna go through the season and beating without those two players. Because even when we were going through a difficult period in the game, we were losing or we knew on the field. I've got these two that can. <laughs> we knew that they will create something that allowed us to score goals, to create chances. And we were going to game and in our mind, we have to defend well, we have to be solid. Because we know that Denis will some magic somewhere. Magic somewhere and Thierry with, with, with that period, because Thierry at that time and that period was, I believe, one of, if not the best striker in the world. And, uh, and those two make, make difference. And you will not gonna go through the season beating without, without these top two. class players. And then you win the league, at your other rivals. 2-2 uh, yes. draw, you scored in this game as well. What was that like against the, obviously this shirt is horrible as well, tight and that, like what was that, what was that um, like when you see this shirt and you see your memories of Tottenham and those games as well? I think, you know, there is, you know, when you think about the best period and of course winning the title and all the stuff like that, Invincible is fantastic, but there's always a moment to, it's a bit sweeter than the others. <laughs> you understand what I mean? <laughs> and winning, <laughs> winning the title, over okay. there. Okay, so it was this, is this one sweeter than this one at Old Trafford? <sighs> Talk to me, Patrick. Old Talk Trafford is, it was really between the, the rivality, you know, like uh, Keane, Wenger with Alex Ferguson. He was uh, the Pires, the Will Todd against the Navy Lando. He was like a competitiveness. And, and to win there, it's, um, it's like us to tell them now, nah, we did it to you, Grant. You know, it's like yeah. players to players. <laughs> yeah, you understand yeah, what yeah. I mean? It was more players. But this one, what make it really sweet is... The fans involved. It's the fans involved. It's, it's a massive rivality. And, and to win it there, and, and we take time to, to stay on the field and to really make that moment really special. The fans stay there for a while. We was there on the field for a while. We celebrate over there for a while. And all of that kind of make it make it sweet. Cherry on top. Uh, when you see these yeah. shirts, Juventus, Inter, and then obviously your uh, last time at City, what, was, what springs to mind? Like what shirts come to mind, and what shirts do you like feel like <sighs> significant in the last part? So it career? is really difficult to choose because every club that I went was quite really special. Juventus, I went there where, um, and I stayed there for just a year. When you wear this shirt, you go back to Highbury. Yes, we uh, we like? face Arsenal in the. Um, in the Champions League it was, and uh, over two legs, and the first leg was at, uh, at Arsenal. And he was really strange. Really strange because after nine years at Arsenal, moving to Italy, and we were playing uh, Juventus against, against Arsenal, and it was a strange game. Strange game because you've seen all the players that you spent years, with years and years, yeah. and the manager, and you're going back to Highbury, and you've seen all the people that you've been working around you for the last couple of years, and. And emotionally, it was, um, it was challenging. Was it, it, was it was a tough challenge, yeah. It was tough. It was tough. So, I want to talk about international. What was it like you put this, because you, obviously you mentioned earlier, your dream is to play it's for dinner. France. Like, more than anything, you want to put on this shirt with these colours. What was it like? You slap it on for the first time, your debut's against um, Holland. Against Holland in yeah. uh, Parc des Princes, the yeah. Holland of, uh, of Denis Bergkamp. 
yeah, and proper, uh, proper, proper players. Like, what was it like? You put this on for it, the first. How, you feel? How you feeling? Are you feeling good? You, you feeling? feeling uh, you feeling proud because you played the game as a kid. That you want to be a, a professional. You want to play for the local team. You want to play professional level. And then you grow and you become quite really ambitious. You want to touch the sky. <laughs> you understand what so I mean? At first, it's just you just want to be a you pro. Just, you just want to pro, want and now you want to be part of. You want to play with the best. You know, so wearing the shirt will say that okay, you are there competing against the best player in the world. Mm. So it's a moment of proudness. You know, for myself, for my family and my friends and all the coaches who helped me to, to succeed and to be the player that, that I was. And, and there's this kind of um, ego, you know, like proud about yourself that you managed to, to wear the shirt right, for the first yourself, time. Yeah. And when you wear it for the first time, it's just one step forward. But what you want is to, to keep your number, to remain and maybe time to go back and go back again. So it was, um, it was, a, it was a good game of, of football, of course, and, and especially against Holland, against Dennis Bergkamp that we <laughs> yeah. playing and together. So it was, um, it was a really good period, That's yes. And then we moved to 98, this shirt here. Yeah. I, the most, probably the most iconic French shirt because of what you it is the uh, Yes, it is the... Obviously, of course, the, the tournament, one on the tournament being in France, this shirt, you're in probably like the peak French. You've got such a great team, Zidane, yourself, Petit's in that team. You play against these guys who are like, I, like another iconic team. What was that whole experience, like the World Cup, playing in the World Cup, in your home like country? Like, it must have been crazy. Like, what's the memories that, that sparked to mind? When you are kids and you are involved in football and you're asking kids which team do you support? Nine out of ten we say Brazil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nine out of ten we say Brazil. Yeah. So for us as a French, you play a final of the World Cup against Brazil. Can you imagine how <laughs> players we are feeling at that moment? Because Brazil is, is Brazil and look at the number of stars they have on the shirt. All the big this players. Is football. That's what that's you is think. football. Football is Brazil. Brazil football. So for us, and this is a one lifetime chance to. I don't know if you will have that it will happen again. You may gonna have a France Brazil in a World Cup, but it's not gonna be in France. It's not gonna be in front of our our own people. You understand what I mean? So that was, of course. A, a special day, a day that we as a player, we always going to remember and, and uh, beating Brazil in the Stade de France. And, um, and it was really important for us because that was the period where in France, it was a lot of racism going around. And as a team to win the World Cup, we'll expose and show to people what France is all about, about diversity. And that was a really strong message that's that like we made as a well statement. wanted to send because winning the World Cup was fantastic, but to show to people that France was about diversity. You know, we were proud to play for the French national team, regardless where we come from. That's amazing. Can we just talk about this one City, here? Yeah, because I would go. like to talk about City because I was at the end of my career and, and moving to City they allowed me to be who I am today as a coach. Okay, yeah, talk, talk about that. You in, understand in what I mean? Way, because like... In one way, in the way that I play for City and I was at the end of my career and, um, and it was a time where City was growing as a football club. And, um, and they offered me a, a pathway for the after career to use my experience and to, to do something with them, but we never find out what was, what was the, the, thing? the thing. Yeah. And they gave me the opportunity to spend two years in every department in the football club. Okay. And after these two years to find out what I really like because they wanted to keep me part of the involved. city family involved in football. How difficult was the transition from being a player in a shirt to coaching players in shirts? Like, what was that transition like for you? For the it was tough. Time? It was tough. It was really difficult because when you're a player, you always think about yourself. You know, you are a player, you come in, you do your things, and then you go. <laughs> and uh, 
And when you are a manager in the other side, you have to think about 25 players. You have to think about your staff. You have to think about so many different things around. And then after you think about yourself. And obviously now you're here, um, here at Palace. I've got some classic Palace shirts here. <laughs> which, one, which ones are your favourite? And what, what, is it, what is it like managing such a club that has so many iconic shirts and moments and stuff like that, like being here? It's a privilege. And to be honest, I'm quite really, really proud to, to manage this football club because it's not just a football club. It's about what it means to South of London. It is bigger than just a football club. It's uh, the relationship and how this football club can make South London proud and then can give hope to people to achieve something or people who need support. And, uh, and that is why I, I love this, this place. Yeah, yeah. Patrick, before we leave, I've got one more question, right? Okay, it's called Burning Building. <laughs> one more question. It's called what? Burning Building. So basically okay. you have two shirts. You're in a burning building, you have two shirts, right? Wow, wow, now wow. you have to save two of them. So one is based on your best memory in a football shirt. And the second one is based on the best looking shirt here, style. Best so if me and, you are, me and you are going out, what shirt are you picking? Right, so we'll start with the first one. Best memory in a football shirt. It's going to be hard to pick because you've got... It's going to be really hard <laughs> to pick and that's always going to give trouble. You understand what I mean? So, I love this one, of this, course. This is what you're going with. All this oh. one here. Last one, last Arsenal shirt. Nah, I would go for that one, the first one. First one? Over everything, over the World Cup, over Invincibles, like, that's the one. Because that helped me to win the World Cup. That was, you know, I arrived at Arsenal at 19, 20 years old. I was a kid, really. And I left the club as a man and as a, uh, a professional... Accomplished. Accomplished player. So that is the one that, that I will wear. Okay, cool. So now we're going best looking shirts. I would go for the French one. <laughs> yeah, French one. I like that. That's two, that's two solid choices. I would go for those two, yeah. Yeah, two solid choices. Like the collar. I like that. Very nice. Yeah, you can wear that every night <laughs> out with a pair of trainers. I think yeah, it will look yeah, good. Look yeah, good. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Patrick, thanks so much for your Thank time. You. Appreciate you having us. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you very much.